The reason why we are still getting this validation error, if you look at it very well, said classrooms in E1, that's the section E, item 1, must be equal to number of classrooms registered on the line list of classrooms in the school. So what this place is trying to say is the number of classrooms that we have declared must be equal to the number of classrooms that we'll be giving details to later in the video so for now we'll just leave it if you check the hard copy um annual school census form that you have with you you see that after declaring the number of classrooms you have you will also provide details of each of those classrooms so we'll provide the details in another aspect of this video so for now we'll just leave it alone so um, to, to get to where you give the details for the classrooms and the details of the staff, which is the concluding part of this video, just come straight to the menu bar where you selected your data entry earlier and you click on it again and you select capture. You select capture. And then you wait for it to load. Um, so this is the interface for the capture um, aspect and this is where you'll be inputting details for the staff and for the classrooms. So you come here where there is a choose a program, you click on it and you select staff for pre-primary and primary school. So over here, so here you are expected to register for each member of staff that is in your school. You are supposed to enroll each teacher that is in your school. So what you do here is you come to create new person. You click on it. It will display a form for you to fill in the details of a teacher. So, um, for the date, it says select the date within. So, this is the form said select the date within year of reporting and not the current year. So, as at 20, 24, 20, um, 2024, 2025 academic session. So you just pick any random date between that period, for that, for that period of um, the 2024-2025 academic session, and you report for the teachers that were in your school at that time. Please note the teachers that were in your school at that time. So you pick the date. Let me back date to um, to January 2025. Let me just pick a random date and that's the date that I will be using for all the teachers that I will be registering. So you input the name of the staff. Then the staff file number. Please you can use the SB number. So you have something like gender the year of birth so the year of birth let me just type in um, 1980 I select it so just ignore this error message that it is bringing and then you input the year of first appointment Someone that was born in 1980, let's assume the year of appointment is 2010. And also the year of present appointment, so, which is also the year of the last promotion. So let's assume it's 2020. 2021 and the year the person sorry 
and the year the teacher was posted to that school, the current school where they are now. So let me pick 2021 as well. So when you are done, you click on save person. So if you look at the left of the right side of your screen, you will see um, the details about the staff. You just entered their details now. So the name of the staff is Ayodeli Banjoko. This is staff file number the, and other attributes. So if per you made any mistake, you can click on this edit button here and it will let you, um, you can make your changes. So since I didn't make any mistake, I won't be making any changes. Now, we still have other details about the teacher that you need to fill. If you check the hard copy of the Anasco census you have with you, you will know that whatever we fill for this teacher is not what is all there is not what that is, is not the whole information that is required there. So what we do now is now since this person this is this person's profile that we are looking at you come here and you click on new primary staff event new primary staff event and it will display another form for you to fill in every other information about Ayodili Banjoko about this particular teacher so the report date, um, I'll just select today's date, that's the, that's the day I'm reporting, um, or you can just use that other date that you used, um, which is January 2025, let me use January 2025, 31st of January. So. Um, for the coordinates, you if you have the coordinates with you, if you know the number, you can input it by yourself, the latitude and the longitude. You can get the coordinates using your Google Maps or anything, or you can use this icon here to get your coordinates. So I'll just input something here. Because I don't want it to capture my current location. So information on all staff during the current school year. So this Ayodeli Banjoko, what type of staff is the person? So I assume he's the head teacher. The source of salary, of course, is the state government that is paying them. The grade level that he or she is, 16. The step. Is the person present or temporarily absent? Just pick whatever that is applicable to that person. The academic qualification. So I assume the person has a degree. Or if the person has a higher degree, maybe like a master's or a PhD, so please pick the highest academic qualification that the person has. So I pick degree. Teaching qualification. There's a difference between academic qualification and teaching qualification. There are people who have their degrees, that, do, that have their degrees in other fields other than education. So if they have additional qualification, you just pick it. So the area of specialization is the area they specialized in during their, um, during their teacher's program. So pick the one that is applicable. Then the main subject taught, every teacher teaches the general primary subject. So you pick general primary. The teaching type is a person a full-time or part-time teacher. So you pick the necessary one. Tick if tick if teacher attended training or workshop seminar in the last 12 months. Pick the necessary thing. So and you click on complete. So we are done for that person. So you have to create 
you have to make entries for each teacher in your school as soon as we are done with that person we have to go to another person so you come here you click on create new person create new person yes so it will display another form for you to input the details of another teacher and that's how you do it till you register all your teacher or till you register the number of teachers you have declared in that other form that you have in your school so that's that about that and as soon as, soon as you are done with this form you click on that um create primary event to fill in the other details for that teacher so we are done with the staff aspect i want to go to the classroom details aspect so you come back to programs here where you have a um, staff primary and primary school click on it and you click on primary and primary classroom updated so yes so now we have the form here the report date of course you can use the you can back date or you can use your current date anyhow you want to do it then the year of construction and please do not forget i said you are filling in data for each class for each class for individual class not the blocks of classroom we have declared that we have eight classrooms so i have to input details for the eight classrooms so the year of construction of classroom one let me see 1990 the present condition is it good or needs minor repair or say it needs major repairs the length in meters let me see six the width in meters let me see eight the floor material the walls material and the roof material are there enough seats for the children in these classrooms good blackboard does the classroom have a good blackboard that the children can read from complete event of course you pick yes so you can say now here if you say save and exit it will take you back to the um to the capture page but since we are not done with it since we've only inputted for just one class we still need to add another one so i'll just say save and add another because i'm not done with all my classes so it has you can see that everything that I did, i've done before you can see that it has displayed a new form for me to input for another class so i'll just do for the eight classes now you can see and then this is the one i just completed it said one event added so this was the one i just completed for classroom one let me add in all the classrooms so i'll pause the video for so that i can make the entries and when i'm done with the eight entries i'll come back um, so as you can see, uh, I, I have seven events added. That is, I have given details for seven classrooms, and this is the last one now. So instead of saying say, save and add another, I will just choose save and exit. So I have given the report of eight classrooms. The report of eight classrooms so we are done for this um, capture aspect now if you recall at the beginning of the video we made mention that some schools were experiencing some validation error in their data entry which we asked them to skip and come over to the capture section so if you find yourself in such situation after this capture section you still have to go back to the data entry aspect and click on the validation rule so if the error persists you should try again 
after some few hours and if the error persists you can contact us on the phone numbers that is provided on the circular letters and we will give you directives on what you, you should do thank you very much <music>